Good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why sit down videos make me so nervous. Why am I nervous? Nobody's here. So as you can tell today, I am doing a Q&A. I asked y'all on my Instagram to send in some questions and you did not disappoint. You sent in a ton of questions. So I'm gonna answer as many as I possibly can. Also, if you wanna like be a part of like sending in questions, make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's where I always do like my polls and stuff. Also, do you like my setup? My little Christmas tree? Okay, before anyone comments on the decorations, I know it's really bad. Like I just stuck some little glittery twigs in it and like called it a day, so yeah. I wasn't about to go out and buy like all the expensive Christmas gifts and decorate it because it's just a little baby tree. It's just just for the vibes, the Christmas vibes, you know? Okay, I guess let's just get right into it. Um, there were honestly like a very wide array of questions. So Okay, let's start with this one. Advice for eating healthy on a budget. Um Honestly, in my opinion, I think that buying whole foods is basically the same price as buying like frozen foods or processed foods. So, and I feel like you get a lot more when you actually buy whole foods and then you cut them up and like store them in the fridge. I really think meal prepping is honestly like the easiest, cheapest way to eat healthy. I personally don't meal prep just because I get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. But there is a way to meal prep where you don't eat the same thing over and over again, but it just requires you to like buy more ingredients, which if you're trying to eat healthy on a budget, you might just have to do it. You might just have to eat the same meal over and over again. You can switch it up each week, but like for that week, you might just have to do it. Also, granola bars and stuff for snacks, they're quick and easy on the go, and like they're usually pretty affordable, so that's another little tip. Okay, I probably got like 10,000 of these <laughs> questions, and it was, are you and Bronson going to get married or engaged anytime soon? So like with COVID and everything, I don't really want to get engaged like right away. Um, also, I wanted us to like be out of college and like living separately. So we were each focused on like our own goals. Just because it's like, our, like I'm only 24. Like there's really no rush. We've already been together for going on seven years now. So personally, I don't really see the rush. Like I'm like, it's like, it's not going to change our relationship any if we get engaged. So um, maybe within the next like year, Maybe? Bronson? Ooh, this is interesting. Do you regret playing college soccer? Um, no, I don't regret it at all. Like, in fact, I would recommend if you have the means and like the opportunity to play a college sport, whether it's D1, D2, D3, JUCO, like whatever it is, I 1000% recommend that you do it because not only does it teach you time management and hard work, work ethic, working out every single day, which is good for your body and good for your health, but also you're going into college kind of with like built in best friends. Like all the people on the team are immediately going to be like very welcoming and just like welcome you in. And you kind of just have built in friends already. So I think it made college easier in a sense, like going and like just having that group of girls like ready to embrace me, but also like it was so freaking hard. You have to be very diligent with your time. So if you have an extra hour to spare to study, you need to take it before workouts or like if you have to stay up until like 2 or 3 a.m. one night studying, it's just what you have to do. It is very hard and you have to love your sport if you want to be successful in it. But like I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like I don't regret it at all. I would do it all over again if I could. What has been your greatest accomplishment? I guess this far in my life, I guess my greatest accomplishment would be either one, doing five years of long distance with Bronson because that was so freaking hard. Even though we were only an hour and a half away because A&M is super close to Baylor. And I would see him probably every other week, every three weeks because he would come to all of my games. But like going from seeing each other every single day in high school, like and hanging out literally every single day and then seeing each other in class and stuff to then going like weeks at a time without seeing him was very, very hard. Cause like he's my best friend. Like I like, 
he knows me better than anyone else. Yeah, it was very hard and we were going on, I think we were starting like two years of our relationship when we went to college. So still like really new, like kind of honeymoon phase. Um, so yeah, that was really, really difficult. Or my other greatest accomplishment would be my YouTube channel just because I don't know, like it was always in the back of my mind to start a YouTube channel because like I love watching YouTube videos and I love like video editing. I used to take video editing classes in school and I just like loved it, but I never really saw it as like a career. Like I always saw like something in medicine or something in dentistry or something in physical therapy. Like that's always where my mind went just because I always played sports and I love science as well. So I think just like having the guts to start my YouTube channel and just not really care what other people think or say about it is um, one of my greatest accomplishments. Oh, also making my ebook. I'm sorry. It's okay, so three things. Also making my ebook because that was so hard and I did that 100% on my own. Just literally didn't even know what I was doing. I was like, I think that I can make something cool. Let's see if it works kind of deal. So um, I'm very proud of myself for that. Do you have any projects you're working on? Yes, I do. Um, I currently have two projects I am working on. The first one is with Bronson and we are starting a business. That's all I can really tell you right now because it's still like, we're kind of like in the middle right now. In like the frustrating part, that's where we're at right now. So yes, that's all I can really tell you, but it's going to be very exciting. I'm, we're both like very passionate about this and it's kind of like our baby right now. So um, yeah, that's where all of my, like, my time and energy is going right now, <laughs> especially Bronson. Bronson has done so much of the work and I'm so thankful for him or this would not be like a thing. Are you and Bronson really saving yourselves for marriage? Um, I don't know why, but people tend to think that like I just say that or something. Like they don't believe me. I'm like, why would I say that? Why would I just say that? Like what, what would I get out of like just saying that? We are saving ourselves for marriage. Um, yes, it is very hard. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's all I'm really gonna say about that. Yes, we are and no, it's not a lie What would your plan be if YouTube wasn't a long-term career? So If I never started a YouTube channel I Didn't even like think that social media would be on my radar like to do as a job at all ever Like I that was just never in the plan for me personally um, But obviously God had different plans for me. I think my B would have been I was like mediocre like average applicant for dental school so I think something that I would have done I got my grades up a lot with my master's program so I don't think that I submitted those grades early enough to like actually have them matter in my application I don't know if that makes sense but I probably would have like resubmitted all my grades, redone my uh, personal statement. I would have worked as a dental assistant probably, possibly got a job as like a cycling instructor at like F45 just because I really do love fitness and I would still want to do something like that. But yeah, and then I reapplied to dental school. But that leads me into another question. Like people always ask me if I'm gonna reapply to dental school. And to be honest, I don't know. Like I am very, 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 very passionate about YouTube and like pouring into the community that like we've all built on my YouTube channel. Right now, I'm just trying to pour as much time and energy into that and like create the best, the best things I can for y'all to help you in your fitness journey or inspire you or whatever you come to my channel to feel. That is like the type of content that I'm focusing on making right now. Because to be honest, one of the biggest reasons I liked dentistry was just that personal connection you had with your patients. That was one of my favorite things about dentistry and like social media, it's weird. It's kind of weird how I like see the parallels now because I can have a much bigger impact on people through social media than I probably ever could with like dentistry. And it's given me the opportunity to like pour into a ton of people, which is like honestly the more than I could have ever asked for, for a career or for a job. Your favorite coffee recipe, hold that thought. Okay, hear me out people. This coffee, cat's coffee, chocolate chip cookie dough. It's the beans, so you have to have a gr grinder. So good. I don't like black coffee, but I could drink this coffee black easily. Best 
coffee creamer in the entire world. I will die on this hill, I'm telling you. It's so good, it's so amazing, everybody needs it, okay? And I might be being dramatic, but no I'm not. It's the Oat oh, Yeah Silk um, Oat Milk Cookie Creamer. It's so good. I can barely find it anywhere, but normally they have it at Target sometimes, so oh, this is a good one. Why did I not do Vlogmas? Um, okay, so for me personally, I do more intense editing than some other vloggers like some people just like like very simple editing me personally I like a bunch of transitions and music and b-roll like putting in my own like little graphic designs that I draw and stuff and that takes a long time like honestly it takes me like a solid two days to edit a, a like a like a good vlog like if I do a lot of editing it takes me like two to three days I just don't feel comfortable putting out a bunch of vlogs or like videos that I'm not like 100% proud of that's like the perfectionist in me I know it's a problem was it difficult transitioning from college athlete to normal person I think it's so funny when people say like normal person because <laughs> I'm like I am a normal person honestly I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because truly that has been Probably the most difficult aspect of like being done with college being done with college sports in general Let me give you like a typical rundown of our day like when I was playing college soccer, so I would get up around like 630 or 7 every day Usually in my busiest semester. I would have class starting at 8 So I would like get ready for class and then go to class and I would have class until sometimes I would have class until like 2 15 like literally all day long in my busy semester and then we always had practice at 3 30 and then um, I think like three days a week we would have lift after that so on our longest days we wouldn't get done until like 7 30 usually and then we would go straight to the bank to eat and me and Reagan specifically we had very hard majors so we would try and eat like in like five seconds so usually like 30 minutes and we go home and we take a shower and then we have to like race to the library and I remember one semester we were in anatomy I still have nightmares about it I'm serious <laughs> That was the hardest I've ever studied for a class ever. Drive together to the library and we would stay there until usually around 2 a.m. And then the next day we would get up and do it all over again. It was very time consuming and having your day scheduled out like to the minute. It's a very big transition when you go from that to controlling every aspect of your life. Like no one telling you what to do ever in regards to fitness, in regards to nutrition, in regards to time management, in regards to what you need to do. I don't know, that was like the biggest adjustment for me was kind of finding a new routine because I thrive in routines. Um, so I actually liked having my days planned out like, like that. Um, so going from that to just being able to do whatever I wanted and like work out how I wanted and eat how I wanted has been Probably the hardest part. Um, I'm obviously still getting used to it. Like I've only been out of college ugh, Six months, so I'm not like not that old like how to deal with guilt after a lazy workout or no workout at all I feel like I struggle with this a lot as well. It's so hard because It takes a lot of like self-awareness to know whether or not you're feeling really tired and worn down you like really need a rest day or if you're just like being lazy and don't want to go and would rather like sit on the couch and watch tv it's very hard for me to like tell the difference between those sometimes for like the guilt after i feel like i just tell myself you know what tomorrow's a new day you can start over you can start fresh you can get a hard workout in treat tomorrow like it's your monday like start every monday with a super hard workout or at least that's what i try to do and if you don't Treat tomorrow like it's your Monday. Like start over, start fresh, and do a really hard workout. Try and get out of that mindset of like feeling guilty because each day that you do something, even if it's not a good workout, um, or you think it's not a good workout, it is gonna be like furthering you towards your progress. Doing anything is doing better than nothing at all. So if you have like not a great workout, don't worry about it. Like do better the next day. So you should do it with your main Say something like, 
I don't know. You can Wait, so what is, like, we're wrapping it up? Yeah, we're wrapping it up. So that's all the questions. That's all the questions I have today. <laughs> okay, y'all. That's all I have for today. Answered your questions and had a great time. <laughs> Ew! Anyways, see y'all. Bye. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.